Good morning and happy birthday, those of you born today. It is September 4th. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. I hope that you're doing everything that you want to do. You're the one who's in charge of, of your day. So I know it's not always possible, but I hope at least some of you get to do that. I hope that you're the fortunate ones who get to do exactly what you want to do today whether that be sleep in or go to your favorite restaurant for dinner, whatever it, whatever it means to you to celebrate your day. So let's see what these crows have in store for you. And I do this reading a little bit differently than the general reading for the collective. The way this one goes is that I look at the past energy that was building that creates the foundation for where you're going in this new year. And I look at the energy that's building that's picking up the baton and what you have to look forward to and how we can use the past to help us in the future, how we can take that energy and use it in such a way that we create the best situation that we, um, you know, we create as much <laughs> uh, happiness and harmony, maybe not even happiness, but harmony, right? As we can, we feel content. I mean, we all wanna feel happiness too, don't get me wrong. But really, I think what we, what we wanna be able to do is get to this place of just feeling as though we are in control of our lives. In, in control of our destiny. Okay, so we start off here with the month pile and the day pile. So the month is September, so we go June, July, August, and September, and then fourth. Four, okay. So last year, ooh, we had created a relationship with something or someone. We created this strong bond where you just felt as though you, you finally met <laughs> your other half. You met you met that, that person or that thing. Maybe it was like a hobby where you just like, oh my God, you in, it was like immediate connection. And immediately you clicked and it's like, oh, all is right in the world. So this could have been a relationship. This could have been um, a romantic relationship with someone. It could have been a friendship where you're like, where have you been? Where, where were you during my horrible high school years? I could have used you kind of friend, you know? Like that kind of energy that you, you, you just feel that attraction, right? And it may have been one, it may have been that you've known this person forever, but this past year just really helped uh, solidify this relationship or this bond. It may have been something that you just knew um, uh, through just because of all these experiences that you had last year that this was really the right thing for you. Maybe if it was a hobby or a, some like a something of interest that just really came into into focus, and you felt that 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 connection that you hadn't felt before. So whatever this is. For you this past year it was really something that was um, it was powerful enough for you to recognize it so you have to kind of like go back in this past year and think about all the things that really felt uh, sticky the stuff that felt good you know like the stuff that you um, you can't imagine your life today without right so maybe it is that perfect friendship or a relationship maybe it was um, Maybe last year you got married, right? You're like, this is the person who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Maybe it was having all this extra time. You decided to try out a new hobby and you're like, wow, I can't imagine my life now without doing this. So this would have been something strong, almost karmic feeling. So that brings us to ooh, release. And so this new year, right? This is going to be a time for you to let go of anything that may be holding you back that may jeopardize this this bond right this is a time to release any negative beliefs any um, feelings or emotions that are tied to uh, an event that you may have lost something you know like um, an example of this would be if you found this wonderful connection with somebody and you're uh, you're just like I can't believe I, I finally met my soulmate but yet 
there's still part of you who is longing or um, pining for a relationship that is no longer there, right? Maybe you lost a partner. Um, if you're still kind of holding that person in, in um, your heart, if there's still space for that person in your heart, you're not able to fully commit to somebody who you, who you really feel the strong connection with. And so this is going to be a year for you to learn how to process those emotions so that you can release them. So you can let go of the past and move forward and rise up and truly fully commit to whoever or whatever this is. I mean, if this is, for example, if this was a job or if this was um, a hobby that you discovered that you just, this is something like, like I, I, you know, I think like, say you have this natural ability to be a master potter, right? Say like your, your, your pottery is amazing. People are just like lining up at your studio to buy it. And yet you still have this day job and you really can't get rid of this idea, you know, that, um, being, being a potter is not something that you could do full time, right? That might be a negative belief that you're holding on to. This year is going to be this year for you to shed any blocks, any negativity, shed any beliefs that are holding you back from connecting with whatever this, this bond card um, represents for you. So this is going to be a year of release. So figure out <laughs> how this card works for you, how this card played out for you last year, because it's time to rise up. It's time to let go of any negative um, ideas or beliefs or, or, events from the past that you're still kind of clinging on to because they're not going to they're not going to serve you moving forward right they're not there to help you rise up they're there to keep you down so be aware of how this bond card plays for you and begin the process this year this is going to be a process of letting go a, a process of releasing bad habits releasing um, negative thoughts or uh, you know Finding, finding these beliefs that may be blocking you from, from the success or from really allowing this relationship to blossom. So much love, peace, and happy birthday to you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.